OpenAI's chat GPT has taken the world by storm. It has reached a million users in record time, and now the internet is full of examples showing off how powerful it is. So, I'm gonna build an app with it. Okay, so just to give you a glimpse of what chat GPT can do, the answer is everything, like everything. But I'm currently here in the playground, which is basically a beta version of OpenAI's chat GPT. What I could do is come in here and say, you know, I currently have about 2,500 YouTube subscribers. What are some things I could do to grow that number to 100,000? And this is what it told me. Growing a YouTube channel from 2,500 subscribers to 100,000 requires consistent effort and a strategic approach. Here are some steps you can take. It's crazy. But you might be thinking, okay, that's on the internet. That's fine. Well, watch this. Like, write a poem about dogs flying. Dogs flying. Dogs. They run and bark and play. But have you seen them take to the sky? The ending is, so let's raise a paw and give a cheer for dogs flying and spreading good cheer. Cheer rhyming with cheer. Bar. Just to be clear, ChatGPT will not be building the app for me. We're building our own, okay? I just want to utilize the power of ChatGPT and build something really, really cool. So I've thought about this for a while. Since I've seen ChatGPT come out, I've been full of ideas, but I connected it with an old idea that I had. Now, my original vision for this app was to have a ton of complex machine learning algorithms that give you synonyms and catchy names for like your new brand and sort of build like a very very impressive brainstorming idea generating app. That was my idea before. Never got to it because a lot, lot of work. work. And now we have like the golden ticket. But yeah, for my original idea, it was like maybe you're naming your startup. Maybe you need a title for a YouTube video. Naming businesses, there are a lot of like business name generators out there that don't do a great job. Some are nice, eh, but you kind of have to do that work on your own. So what I'm envisioning is basically like, so like I want a name for a website that connects business professionals. And it would be like beep, boop, 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 beep, LinkedIn. Okay, so my first step was to get the picker view down because this is kind of what I was picturing. So I, I messed with this a little bit. I had to look up some documentation, but I want a Apple bottom jeans. Now this is, a, this is an example. From here, this would say I want a idea or name for a website, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so then the choices would change based off of that first selection. Like I said, some of them don't apply to both. You can have an idea and a name for an app. It wouldn't make sense for all of them. It wouldn't make sense for child. You don't need an idea for child. You just have a child. What? So that is gonna be dynamic. And then it's gonna say that blank. And now we're gonna mess with the text fields. Okay, so I just imported OpenAI's API and I'm playing with this. So I hard coded, I'll show you my code snippet here. Write a name for an app that remixes popular songs with new instruments. Having no idea like how accurate or how good this would actually work, look what it says. I know the design at this point is hideous, bear with me here. It spit out tune tricks. That's like dead on. Tune Tricks sounds like a legitimate app. All that to say, this works. And now I'm excited. So I'm gonna keep building this out and fill in all of the possible options and I will be right back with an update. All right, so I've worked a good bit on this, made it look pretty using that flawless Work Sans font. So I want a name or idea, so far so good, for a app, game, child. So idea for a restaurant that is unique and would make a lot of money. Generate idea. A mini golf themed restaurant with a full menu that changes every month or quarter. The restaurant includes a mini golf course that customers can play while they eat. That sounds difficult. The restaurant plays upbeat music and offers an exciting and entertaining environment to enjoy a meal. What? Dude. All right, it is a new day and I have teeny tiny little update. We now have a button with a shadow and a crispy blue gradient. Now, the idea for the golfing restaurant is crazy. So I wanna test this thing out a little bit more before we move on. So let's try to come up with a name for an app. Yeah, that finds local pickup basketball games, right? That's a good one. Basket Pal. All right, one more. Let's do an idea for a business that can make me rich. 
because we want that paper. Start a digital marketing agency. With the rise of digital and social media, businesses are increasingly looking for digital marketing experts. All right, one more name, one more name. The name for an app that tracks home workout stats. Fitfluence, try it again. Home Fit Tracker. We get the point, right? We get the point here. It works and it is cool, okay? I don't think anyone could deny that. Chat GPT is mind blowing. Now, Chat GPT is free on the beta version right now, but they will be charging people soon from what I understand. So I'm starting to think about monetization. Maybe I'll charge like a dollar for a certain amount of credits that you can use this maybe three times, five times, whatever. So that is on my to-do list. The next thing on my to-do list, making this thing pretty, but this should be minimal. This should be clean. This should be like very easy to use. I want this to be so easy to use that my dog understands how to use it. You kidding me. The other thing I, I wanna focus on is like building a very sexy welcome screen, like maybe with animations. I'm going to just add some touch-ups here, make this screen beautiful and build a welcome screen. I will see you there. Okay, so I have an update. This, what you see here is the welcome screen. This is the light version of it and this is the dark version of it. I wanted to put the button at the bottom of the screen because that is naturally where your thumb will be. I like the sort of minimal clean look. The color blue that I'm using is the coolest color, but this is just boring. Like it's not quite there yet. I'm gonna make it cooler. I ended up finding this animation tool called Rive. I did a couple tutorials on it and it is cool. So check this out. This is what my background is gonna be. Okay, so just to remind you, this is the before. This is what it looks like. Yeah. And now look at this. So what I did with this background is I put like a huge blur on the shapes essentially. And I decreased the alpha so it's a little more transparent. I didn't want it to be like in your face messing up the text. I like how this slow flowy type of animation in the background just brings this screen to life. This is awesome. And just to show you, this is what it looks like in dark mode. I mean, I'm obsessed with how this turned out. Also, um, I'm calling it Brainstorm GPT right now. I think that works, I think it's catchy, and when I Googled it, nothing else came up, so. Okay, let's talk about this main screen, huh? So you can see I changed a lot of things. First of all, I added a beautiful background. It's actually the same background that's on the welcome screen, but um, the big change here is that I moved everything down and I mainly did this for usability. Your thumb is naturally toward the bottom of the phone, so I feel like it's easier to fill out these options and this button being right here, sort of a better user experience. So I changed that. Now your answer will be showed above and that just allows for a better user experience overall. We're cruising along. You will also notice if I tap this button right here, purchase more I implemented a credit system you start with three credits and you can purchase more and you have this nice little you can choose three ten or twenty credits you can hit purchase maybe I can make a little money with this but at the same time I'm thinking about pricing because chat GPT is free I think next I'm going to just do all of the little things like the app icon maybe look at like terms of conditions privacy policy this is like boring things that you have to do before you submit it to the app store. So that's next on the to-do list. I'll check back with an update here in like 20 minutes. So recently I did a video on generating app icons and mockups with Midjourney. Midjourney is a AI art generator just based off of what you text to it. It's incredible. So I figured if we're building the chat GPT app, why not make the app icon with Midjourney? It uses a Discord bot. And as you can see, this first prompt that I typed here says brainstorm version four and and wow, did it deliver. Next, I said brainstorm, idea generation, light bulb background, sleek modern icon design. And in this one, we got our winner. I told it to give me an upscale version of number two and number three. I tried to keep it going. Brainstorm, idea generation, background, sleek, modern, icon design. This is gonna be our icon. I think it's super cool. It's simple enough, but like when you look at the details of this, it's like, I made that based off of the text that I typed. I didn't make it. Midjourney made it, but I told it to make it, so that counts for something. You gotta make some business decisions next and then keep it rolling. I've been thinking and I ran a test. This was not the plan when I started this video, but my app is capable of saying things that I don't want my name tied to. 
I don't trust the general public to like use this only for app ideas. I don't want someone to tweet me and be like, look what your app said. So I have two options. I can make this custom text field where it says, you know, I want a name for an app that blank. I can make that blank a list of adjectives where I say like, I want a name for an app that is cool, unique, and innovative, but it really takes the value away from it. The other thing is chat GPT is not 100% reliable at the moment. Anyone that's used it knows that you will get errors. If I'm going to charge people, I have to take that into consideration. Like I need to make sure that I'm checking that there is no error before they pay. Like if you buy credits and you use one of the credits and it says, hey, sorry, you don't get one. Like that's bullshit. Which brings me back to why would people pay for that? Especially if there's just a list of adjectives rather than customizing the text. When you can just customize the text for free on openai.com. Rather than making the app worse and then going through the whole app store submission process, I have decided that I will not be submitting this to the app store. I apologize. This is not how I wanted it to go, but this was a fun project and this will not be on the app store. That's right. It, it, it was, it was kind of just for the love of the game, but I did spend a good bit of time on this, so here's what I can do. I'm going to link to the source code in the description below. So if any developers out there want to create something similar, have at it. Like use my code, I will remove my API keys. I was using Revenue Cat for purchases. I will just give you guys like a template version of this, write up some tips on how to get this up and running, and you could just download this app and have it as your own. So basically developers can just use my sample project. That being said, if you are interested in seeing more content like this, be sure to subscribe. More apps are on the way that will be going to the app store, that will be legit apps, legit businesses. I'm gonna document everything. I'm gonna tell you why I'm building this app, why I chose this design. I'm gonna take you through the whole process of launching it and telling you how many users I have and how many of them pay and all of that cool stuff. Thank you if you've made it this far. Thank you, thank you, thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe. Peace.